Being a leader requires a willingness to dedicate yourself to a vision and sacrifice to make that vision a reality. Your decision today to participate in this day of learning is proof that you are willing and dedicated and making the sacrifice. And you've heard from a lot of women who were the first women ever, the first black woman ever, the first Latina ever, right? There's gaps there, but for us sometimes, girls that look like us, there's a hope gap. When you make these connections like you're making today, it continues on when you need some encouragement to get with your mentors, whether those are those at African Teakin, those here with Polish Pebbles, those in your schools, in your communities. And when you need some hope, read the stories here in the Every Girl is a CEO Career and Success Guide. We tell stories of some of the women you've met today where they give you the blueprints of success and they can give you hope sometimes when you feel like you don't have it. Hello everyone, um, my name is Ashley Hassel. I am a last semester senior at University of Illinois at Chicago, majoring in business management with a minor in African American studies. And I am a CEO because right now I own a jewelry business where I make uh, necklace pendants and charm bracelets. And I'm still gonna be a CEO after graduating because I want to venture out in nonprofits and open up my own homeless temporary housing. Addison Ballone. Um, I'm a freshman at Limbo Math and Science Academy and I'm a CEO because I have my own film photography business called Director's Eye where I do um, videos for different celebratory events as well as me now you know transitioning into freelance filmmaking. Um, something interesting about me is I was able to start my business only a year ago through the Mommy and Me uh, program through Polish Pebbles this past summer. And soon after that, I was able to premiere a documentary that I co-directed. you to be courageous and take the first step. Never be afraid that something is bigger than you because you can do anything you put your mind to. Now, my first job uh, was at McDonald's. So I went from working a drive through at McDonald's uh, to becoming a lawyer, then to going on to be a member of Congress. And that's something I never dreamed um, that I would do. And these days, I like to ask our young girls very early when they are three years old, like, ask young girls, what do you want to be when you grow up? And when they say, I want to be a teacher, reinforce it. But let's ask every young girl, how about president of the United States? I rely very heavily on the skills that I learned from those activities in high school in terms of my ability to communicate, to have confidence, to think through different issues and challenges. And I said yes to a number of career opportunities that I didn't know at the time were really preparing me and leading me into my role as CEO of a construction firm. People see me on TV every day and they think glamour, but let me tell you how I started. I was lugging a 35 pound camera, shooting my own video, editing my own stuff, writing my own stories every single day and being so consistent and working hard and working with integrity in this, the first jobs that we get, the first steps in the industry. And that can truly lead, like Ray said, you started there, people saw, they noticed what you did, and then you were able to pivot that and build off of that. Just be teachable. And I think that's really important to be teachable in this industry. I am inspired uh, for people coming behind me so that when I do a good job, you know, it won't be that I'm the first and the only. I want to do such a good job that this door is open for more people that look like me so that we are not continually celebrating first, but this is a normal thing that women of color are occupying powers, uh, occupying offices of power uh, and leadership and that there's not this thought that, oh, we can't do it. I've never seen anyone do it. I know you cannot be what you do not see, right? So I'm here so you can see that there is a possibility that you can do anything that you set your mind to. Remember this, there is no easy way to success. Throughout your life, you will have doubts and you'll have insecurity, but pledge to yourselves that you will always conquer self-defeat. Remain strong and give yourself and those important to you the encouragement that you need to secure your own dream. Don't allow yourself to get older and look back with regret and say, I could have done that. I wish that were me because the people who succeed are not going to have been better than you. 
they will not be smarter than you or luckier than you. Those are just going to be people who at one point in time said to themselves, I can and I will. You should be that person too. We are now a sisterhood, a global, international sisterhood of CEOs. And that's a powerful, powerful thing. Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Yes, we can. Yes, we can! Yes, we can. Yes, we can.